In 2008, the state of Michigan, the people of the state of Michigan, staged what I feel is a bloodless revolution. They actually took it upon themselves to form a law and thrust it upon our government in spite of anything our government could say in contrary to it. And I'm proud to have been involved in that process, gathering petitions and getting the vote out and things like that. Proud to have been an American involved in this process. It's a process where we can actually change our government without having to resort to some sort of revolution where we're killing people and things like that. Uh, it's great to live in a place in this world where the people can actually do that kind of thing without fear. The bad part is, is when the government refuses to obey the orders from the people. And this is a problem that we're seeing in our court systems today. Medical marijuana patients are being arrested. The jury is being denied the information that the person is a medical marijuana patient licensed by the state. Um, you might have a case, something like a judge thinks that uh, shouldn't have been a six foot fence. It should have been an eight foot fence. Law doesn't say anything about six-foot or eight-foot fencing or anything like that. All a jury hears in that case, the judge says, you can't introduce this law because they were outside of the law. You can't tell the jury that they're a medical marijuana patient because it wasn't an eight-foot fence. And the only thing the jury hears then at this point is that this person was caught with a couple of marijuana plants out in their backyard. And then the judge tells the jury, if you find that this person was in possession of marijuana plants in their backyard, then you must vote guilty. And that's not true. This is phase two. The only way that we can force our government to actually obey we the people is if we actually step forward and enforce it. And what I'm talking about is a process that's called jury nullification. Just vote not guilty. If they can't get a conviction, they'll stop harassing patients in Michigan. This is very important. We can sit back and do nothing and allow them to thumb their noses at the voters of the state of Michigan. Or we, can, we, we the people, can enforce this law. Vote not guilty in any marijuana case. Don't tell them why. Just tell them, um, I'm not comfortable. I, I'm not comfortable voting guilty right now on this in this particular case. I, I'm, I'm not sure why. I'm just not comfortable. So not guilty. Not guilty. They don't want to obey the voters. Force it on them. Please. This is very important. If you know people in Oakland County, send this information to them. You know, put it up on your Facebook and share it with people. Twitter about it. Let everybody know that you don't have to vote guilty like the judge says. You're back there in that room. They cannot watch what you debate or how you debate, they can't get inside of your head and force you to say, oh, I'm doing a jury nullification. They can't force you to do that. All you got to do is just say, I'm not comfortable voting guilty, so not guilty. If we can force these people to stop enforcing these stupid laws against a plant, they'll stop arresting people for it. And instead, they'll have, more, they'll have money for school budgets and stuff like that. Instead of spending money on a frivolous fight that they can't win anyways, they've been fighting this marijuana thing by passing laws against it for the last 70 years, and it hasn't done anything. Nothing at all. Stop wasting taxpayers' monies. Fund our children's schools instead of funding this war against this drug. Just vote not guilty in any marijuana case. And tell your friends, please tell your friends. We have to get together. We, the people, have to rise up and enforce this law we passed. Thank you.